First part of the adventure there, rowing in. We got strong for seven gusts, looking absolutely soaking. Get a wee bit wet there. <laughs> we ended up just a wee bit down to the left of the harbour. <laughs> but anyway, we're not going to show you much. Look at the jellyfish here. Right, so we're not actually going to show you much until we get down and uh, see the wee, the wee sign for where we're going to walk today. We're going the lighthouse route, and the, the long route. So, we'll see you when you get down here. You've seen this wee stretch yesterday, and the wee bits of harbour, so we'll see you down at the sign. Harbour again, um, we're going to take the Skelplay Heritage route, a six mile circular route around the island. It's blowing a hoolie out there northwesterly. <laughs> uh, that's why we're in the south, south Anchorage. I love it came across an old like I presume it's an old steamer that's come in here many years ago and that was our grave. It's definitely a big boiler there, like isn't it? Definitely, oh, I was putting that in there a hundred years ago. Aye, uh, hadn't I? Kind of started the path, it's the heritage walk, right? In the glass. We've a sign here as well saying it, but it looks like to go right up into these houses. But we're gonna go up, we'll go up anyway. We're only following all the signs. <laughs> so off we go, Darren. Let's see what's up here. Let's hope we don't get pitchforked for drive walking up someone's driveway. Nice here and there. So when you come down this way, just remember. Walk up in through the houses, through the gate, and uh, then you come onto this wee path. The wee peak which is sort of up at the top of the, the heritage trail and um, we're down by the lighthouse once we get down to the lighthouse we'll give you the name of the lighthouse it's one of the oldest working lighthouses or something in scotland uh, we'll have a passage going up here through is it the, the shanty islands or something and uh, last year i came up there going to the furrows heading to stornoway <laughs> bit of strong tide in there but uh have a look around it's very windy up here Out there, you may not see it on the GoPro, is the Ashanti Islands, Shanty Islands, whatever they're called. There's a the lighthouse. There's Gurney Man. The way down in here, our anchorage is down in there. And right down in the bottom of the lock, we uh, uh, Harbour, which we'll visit in the next couple of days. Way, way over on the other side, you've got the Isle of Skye. So, we'll get down to the lighthouse, get out of the wind for a bit, and we'll give you a look down. Elm Glass, it's called Elm Glass. However, the Scottish pronounce it, but it's Elm Glass or Elm Glass or something like that. Kobe, baby. I'm sure this is Sea of Many a Mariner's Life coming up here. Look at that, bro. beautiful. Lamp. 
shop and he tastes salty, you know where he came from. <laughs> bit you see from up there. Pretty cool in here. I reckon you can keep your own boat in here. Oh definitely but it's a new spot for it. Isn't it? Wouldn't it? With some spa. You'd be swimming around. You could jump in there and swim but there's a big sign saying no swimming. But I'm sure in there you get some uh, weather coming in the winter. I think so. I think so. Water. See the water in there. <laughs> it's gone. So let's go get a look at the lighthouse. Look over this and then you can actually pause it and see it on TV on your screen. Shanty Islands, and if you look right there, there's a lot of currents and stuff moving around. You gotta go over the tide through there. Islands, the Isle of Skye, Stornoway is way up there. Where the lightkeeper actually lived way back in the day. Cool spot, will you take that for a job? Just be amazing out here, like a real bad winters and stuff. Sitting in here in a stormy night. Ah. Ah, oh, wouldn't it be cool in here in a stormy night, Gar? Sitting with a tilly lamp on there, by sitting up at the table. Pretty cool. Coastal route and it should bring us back towards the boat. I think it's about two or three miles. So let's get back into that door, Mr. Boy. So I and let's the coastal path bring us. See you again now. Don't forget the call back. <laughs> Pretty easy. Uh, I would say uh, it would. Uh, any sort of level of fitness could really almost do it. Like, uh, we'll see where, where the coastal bit is. It fits just as easy. 
should be easy enough. It's well path, well marked. Like. No really, no big bits of hill, mountain. Like, so you should be good to go to walk no matter what your fitness is. We end the trail and get back onto the main road. <laughs> the wind's picked up, we're gonna ball get back on the boat. Eh? Yeah, going well. Bit of rain. We need to get just back out just because. Down there, the water's fucking bubbling with the wind blowing on. Well, wish us luck. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed your walk around Scalpe with us. It was a flan visit where I couldn't show you everything, but that's just heading back. So, thanks for watching. And the wind is east. We get out fast.